Bright is the latest film by David Ayer and stars Will Smith, Joel Edgerton, Lucy Fry and Numi Rapace. The film is set in a mythical world where there are humans, orcs, elves and other mystical creatures, but the setting is modern and in this case urban American, so there are class structures in place. Will Smith plays a cop whose partner is an orc, played by Joel Edgerton, and orcs have a bit of a bad rap in this world. While out on a call one night, they stumble on a pretty messed up situation and get sucked into a life-altering adventure. You all right? Uh, yeah. No holes? Huh? Uh, only the ones that I was born with. How are your holes? The fuck can you make a shootout awkward? Sorry. This is a Netflix original, and because it was made by David Ayer, they decided it was worth throwing a ton of money at. All of this is on the screen, and you can see the detail in the set design, as well as the makeup of the characters. There are a number of set pieces, and Ayer spares no expense making these flashy and choreographed from moment to moment. The way he meshed the mythical world with the urban inner city creates a beautiful new environment that's grungy and dirty and feels lived in. Edgerton does a great job of counteracting Smith's charisma as an awkward offbeat orc. You don't expect an orc to act the way that he does, which I found interesting and refreshing. Hey, hey partner, you ready to get back to work? All healed up. What the hell are you doing at my house? Why are you at my house? Why are you on my lawn? Your <laughs> lawn's dead for it. Exactly. Ticker, played by Lucy Fry, is a literal manic pixie dream girl, but Numi Rapace's character Layla is a total badass, so I can forgive Ayo here, I guess. Most of the other characters in the film serve the development of these four characters, which is a bit of a shame considering how much world building is done. The story is pretty simple, with a singular objective. Aya does a good job of setting up the rules and the hierarchy of the world in the first act. The crux of the story that focuses on the main goal, and how this plays out is where the film suffers. Bright is mostly one big foot chase through the ghetto, with some interesting set pieces and horrible stereotypes, which is disappointing considering that the subtext on racism and classism is heavy handed throughout the film. The climax and conclusion seem pretty open ended, which makes me think that Netflix has been banking on a sequel. Bright may not have the strongest story, but on a conceptual level this is a great piece of work and I'd be very keen to explore more of this world in future. I'd also love to spend more time with these characters and that's the part that matters for audiences in a world where visual effects are not the be all and end all. Bright was lambasted by many critics as one of the worst films of the year, but if you ask me these people just need to brighten the hell up. Bright gets a shiny 7 out of 10 from us.